Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving an Absolute Value Inequality, problem type 5. We're asked to solve, and we're also told that we could have two special situations, either all reals or no solution. If, as we start to solve, we end up with the absolute value on one side being less than a negative, this would be our no solution possibility. And no solution because the absolute value is always going to be positive, so it couldn't be less than a negative number. Another sort of special situation could be if the absolute value were greater than a negative number. This would be all reals. And all reals, because since absolute values are always positive, they're always going to be greater than negative numbers. So those are the two special situations. The other two possibilities are that we could have an absolute value less than a positive number. This would be an AND situation, where we would have to look at where the two solutions overlap. So we would need both of the two solutions to be true. And lastly, we could have the absolute value being greater than a positive number. This would be an OR situation where either of the two solutions would work. So for this example, we're not going to know which situation we have until we get the absolute value by itself. So to begin to do that, I'm first going to subtract the 2 over to the right-hand side. That would cancel on the left, leaving me with 9 times the absolute value of u minus 7 is less than 27, negative. And then we would divide by 9 on both sides to get the absolute value by itself, and it is now less than a negative 3. So we have the absolute value less than a negative. We said previously that that is no solution because an absolute value is always going to be positive. It can't be less than a negative. At this point, we don't need to continue. We can stop and just say that there is no solution. 